All right. So this is a pocket operator. This is actually the PO33. And what this does is a music sequencer. So if I press play, I'm gonna actually bring the volume up. So what this does is it creates patterns and you can create beats. You can create all types of music. What I'm trying to create here is some lo-fi hip hop, but I'm not really good at it. If you look up some videos, some people are actually a lot better than me. So I'm just getting, I'm just getting the hang of it. But what I did want was a case for this because it comes like this. It's just a bare PCB. And, and it actually plays by itself with the slightest touch. So I, one, wanted to protect it. And two, I didn't want it to start playing because I didn't want the battery to drain. It actually takes two AAA batteries. And so what I ultimately came to print was this. And I made a little case for it so it doesn't turn on by itself. So if you give me a couple of minutes, I'll show you how I created this. And I'll show you how to get one and print it out. And without further ado, let's get into it. So if you look in Thingiverse, you really only get one option. And that's what I did. I downloaded it and I went ahead and printed it. The first thing I noticed is that putting on the buttons was a little bit tedious. When I put in the pocket operator, sometimes the buttons will come off and I would have to take the pocket operator out and put the button back in. Because I wasn't satisfied with the case, I went into Onshape. Onshape is a CAD software. And if you use the free version, all the files that you create are actually public. And I went ahead and looked for a pocket operator case. And thankfully there's a lot of them in this library. So I picked the one that I liked and printed it. You see, it's very easy to copy any public file into a new document, and then you can start editing it as you wish. You see, once I printed it, I realized that this file has some flaws. It had a gap and the gap was because you see these pocket operators come with a little tab on the top where you can hang it if you're going to sell it. The thing is, a lot of people cut these tabs. I didn't want to cut it. So the problem was that the opening on the top wasn't big enough for the tab. So I went back in on shape and I made the hole bigger and also extended the case a little bit so that there wouldn't be a gap. And now that it's printed, it's time to test it and see if it fits. The fit is not perfect, but it's close enough and I can live with it. So now that we are sure that we could use this case, now it's time to customize it. The first thing I wanted to do was put the name of the pocket operator on the case. And all I used was a text tool from Onshape. 
and I use that sketch to create a backwards extrusion into the case. I then went into Affinity Designer, created some SVGs, and I converted them to DXF, which is a format that Onshape can actually take. And I use that to create sketches for my extrusions. You see, these pocket operators have button labels printed on the PCB. And because this case was going to cover those, I wanted to replicate it on the actual case itself. The button labels at the top are sound, pattern, and BPM. The buttons on the side are record, play, and write. Record is a star, play is a triangle, and write is a circle. I went ahead and used the text tool to create the sketches for the numbers and then I duplicated them as needed. There is one last button on the right hand side and that's the effects button. And that's just text. So I use the text tool to create that as well. I then went ahead and selected each sketch one by one and then extruded them backwards. I wanted to customize the case even further by putting the drum label and the melodic label that's found on the left hand side of the pocket operator PCB. And this corresponds to the button functions, which are grouped from one to eight and five to 16. And with that done, it's time to export into an SDL so that we can print it on our Bamboo Lab P1S. And in Bamboo Lab Studio, all I did was use the color painting tool so that I could paint the extrusions that way the labels are more visible if for anything else this is a good reason to buy the AMS system for your bamboo lab printer small things like this don't take too long um, I know multi color prints tend to take a long time, but something like this takes a few minutes. And here it is your PO33KO case with button labels and it's basically what I wanted. Now, I still don't know how to play this, but I'll eventually learn. In the meantime, I have a cool case. And like I said before, I created this lid so that it doesn't turn on in my pocket. And here are all the prints that I created trying to find the perfect case.
All right. If you got this far in the video, please don't forget to subscribe. And I'll be posting a link to the file from Unshape so that you could try to edit it, maybe learn some Unshape, and see if you can make a cool case too. Please take care of yourselves and your loved ones. Peace.